everybody, Summertime Ken here. I know some of my subscribers have been wondering, I uh, haven't posted a video up in about a month, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, what I've been doing. I want to tell you a little bit about the robotic mitral valve uh, repair surgery that I just had a week ago today. Uh, mine was done by Dr. Evilio Rodriguez um, here at St. Thomas Hospital in Nashville, Tennessee. He's been doing these surgeries since 2005. Highly recommend him. Um, Super nice guy, will let you know exactly what to expect going in. Um, and he was right on point, right accurate. And, um, you know, he did a good job repairing my valve, so. I know some of you wanted to see the uh, the actual scars. So, um, this is, again, this is about right at a week. A um, week ago today I had the surgery, so some of them still have some bandages on them, but there's a port uh, where they put in the um, a chest tube. They had another tube put in down here. And then the actual scar, as you can see, it's about two and a half inches long just underneath your armpit there. And then another tube was put in back behind. So three tubes and then the actual scar there. So it'll look better later. Um, but like I said, it's only been about a week. So that's what it looks like now. So I wanted to show, uh, share a little bit um, with you guys about kind of what to expect. Um, you know, if you're someone who's got this uh, kind of surgery that you have to have coming up, uh, of course you'll learn a lot from your surgeon um, in meeting with him or her um, regarding the surgery itself and kind of what to expect. But um, you still never really know until you until you go through it. Um, but mainly. Um, I had my surgery, like I said, a week ago uh, today at around 9 a.m. Um, they give you, you know, some morphine, something to kind of get you in la-la land uh, before you go into the operating room. Um, and then you're pretty much just knocked out. Next thing you remember, um, you're waking up in the ICU. Um, you've got a, I had a breathing tube down, down my, my, throat um, that you really don't even feel. You're actually, you're just biting on a little clip and uh, that's the only thing you feel is just biting on the, on the, uh, on the clip itself. And then you kind of wake up. I didn't, <laughs> I woke up probably that night around 11 o'clock. So I had the tube um, for about 12, 13 hours probably, I guess. Um, woke up about, yeah, a little before 11, I guess. Um, but, um, you wake up, you kind of realize where you are, you realize you're in, you're in ICU, you're, you know, they, they, you're, you're pretty much full of, of drugs, um, so you're still kind of in a, a fog, but you, you do realize a little bit where you are, um, at that time, kind of when you start opening your eyes, the nurse will tell you, they're gonna, you know, to pull the tube out, um, and honestly, I, that was one of the things I was worried about the most going in, um, but it was nothing, I mean, like I said, when you wake up, you don't even feel that you have it in there. You're breathing on your own. Um, she'll tell you on the count of three to release the bite on the clip and just breathe out. And that's all you got to do. They pull it out, and then you're sitting there breathing. Um, there's not a whole lot to the ICU stay. I was kind of in and out of it. Um, so some of it I don't even really remember, uh, whether I was sleeping or, or what, but... Um, you know, I just do remember if there is, you know, I had a little bit of pain where the scar was, um, especially when I coughed. I had a cough that I actually still kind of have here a week later uh, from having the tube down my throat. Um, and that cough, when you coughed a little bit, it would hurt. Um, but you basically, they give you pain pills for that. Um, you know, they pretty much drug you up pretty good in the ICU. You know, when you wake up though, like I said, you do have the tube down your throat. Yeah, I had an IV in my neck right here. Um, I had a chest tube in right here, draining fluids, and then another one in kind of around my back as well. Um, those they actually keep in. They kept in. Um, they didn't take. They took one of them out Tuesday, the following day, um, and it didn't hurt. I wouldn't say um, it was. It wasn't pleasant. I mean, it, you know, it was it was one of those things that was just more of a weird feeling than it was, uh, than it actually hurt. Um, but they removed that and bandaged that up. 
I still had one tube in for quite quite a ways. I was in intensive care. Uh, of course, the day of the surgery, woke up that night. The next day, the Tuesday, and then Wednesday is when I went to a regular room. Um, went to a regular room. <coughs> um, there they get you up, kind of sitting in a chair, um, and even up walking around in your room. Um, you're going to feel just a little out of it because uh, of, of, you know, you've been you've been in uh in surgery for for 12 hours you know just two days before and and they and you, you still have a lot of you know a lot of medications they're giving you and, and pain medication too um so you're going to feel a little bit out of it a little loopy um but it's not a bad experience at all it's just something that um each day you just try to get your 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 strength back um i was eating solid foods up there then um and it wasn't great food, but solid foods. Um, and on Thursday, uh, Thursday was just a normal day just to get my strength back again. And then Friday, I was actually released from the hospital. So I had the surgery Monday. I was released on Friday. On Friday, the, um, they actually they left one of the chest tubes um, in all the way until Friday, until right before I was discarded. They took that one out again, felt the same. It's just a weird feeling. You can just kind of feel it going through your body, and then they pull it out. It's not a doesn't hurt or anything at all. I would say nothing really um, hurt or was was a bad experience at all in the whole thing. My surgeon um, told me what to expect going in, and um, it was exactly like what what he said it would be like. And um, you know, nothing really like I said, nothing really hurt. Just kind of strange feelings, things you haven't really had done to you before. But uh, if you are in any kind of pain, they do give you pain medication for it in the hospital and then also when you're discarded. Um, I came back home last Friday, and um, like I said, it's been a week. I am, I'm up walking around the house. Um, I feel great. Um, I'm getting sleep. Um, you know, I haven't had, I actually haven't taken a single one of the hydrocodones that they gave me for pain since I've been home. So I've um, been able to take a shower once I got home. Um, so everything for me has been really great. You still get kind of tired a little bit in the middle of the day, and I'll take a nap. But uh, other than that, um, it's just kind of every day getting your strength back and your appetite back. Because, um, you know, I lost, you lose a lot of weight in the hospital. But um, other than that, it's totally fine. I mean, I'm like I said, it's been exactly a week. And other than just a little bit of fatigue just during the middle of the day, I feel like, you know, I could go back to work or drive or do anything right now. So... Um, total recovery time on this, doctor said, was about three to four weeks. Um, and that's just to be cautious. They don't want to kind of have you overdo it. But So if you are somebody who uh, does have this surgery coming up, um, I would just say number one thing is the worst part about the entire surgery is the waiting time between the time when you're told by your cardiologist you need to have a surgery and the time you actually have it. That is the worst part. Um, by far, and I know you'll probably hear that over and over again, think, uh, you know, whatever, but, um, it, it really is that, that is, that is the worst part of it. So, um, know everything's going to be fine. And, uh, you know, it's as long as you're going with a surgeon and a, a, a hospital, um, you know, that, that they've, they've been doing this for a little while. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those surgeries that's becoming almost commonplace. So, um, it's getting safer and safer. So, um, know that they wouldn't go in there and do it unless they felt like they could do it successfully. So hope this video um, has been helpful for you. Um, feel free to leave comments or any other additional questions, things I might have left out uh, below, and I'll try and get back with you um, as I continue my recovery process. Thanks.